Let's be honest, there's no better feeling than the thought of waking up and seeing that you sold a beat overnight. Maybe even when you're brushing your teeth, making some coffee, or just watching TV. It doesn't matter. That sales notification is an instant shot of dopamine to any producer. But how do you get through the frustration and get to the point where beats start selling themselves on autopilot? Well, in order to get there, we first need to start at the unsexy side of marketing. See, this is a marketing funnel. There's a top, middle, and bottom. And we first need to start off at the top, which is known as awareness. So think about this. How can an artist discover you? Well, it's actually quite simple. You find them or they find you. Essentially, you can make content to be discovered or you can send out cold Instagram DMs and emails. And I guess you could call this a cold email, like. Does this actually work for anybody? But nonetheless, if you wanna sell beats while you're sleeping or while you're just laying around the house, you need to first shift your mindset into creating content. As well as there's another factor that will help run your beat selling business on autopilot, but we'll get there later on in the video. See, there is one thing that makes content better than cold messaging. Algorithms never stop. Algorithms work a hell of a lot faster than you could ever find and message artists yourself. And this is why we preach content creation. It's because it's what drives awareness to get people into your funnel. As you can literally be doing nothing and a piece of content that you posted can get over 200,000 views. Shout out to Jay Boogs, by the way. Now, we will talk more about the issues Shoes that come with this, but I quickly want to say selling beats never becomes passive income. Because once you stop bringing more artists to the top, only the existing people in your funnel will turn into customers or not. Now, you could have those customers return back and buy again, but obviously that requires a more in depth strategy that is not covered in this video. So unless you have a huge customer base consistently coming back to you, you have to focus on getting more artists into the top. Okay, so let's get into organic traffic and its issues. So if you look at any top selling producer on any beat store, you will most likely find that they have a big YouTube channel that drives all of their beat store traffic. Now, I also wanna say that short form content is emerging too, with platforms like Instagram and TikTok helping producers get millions of views. At the end of the day, you're simply looking to grab someone's attention and turn it into to a beat store visit. But I must mention that YouTube is still king when compared to TikTok or Instagram. YouTube is way more intentful as artists are searching for beats. As well on Instagram or TikTok, artists may be, you know, we'll just say less intentful. Now, driving traffic is only the first part of all of this. Studies have found that about 95 to 99% of your traffic will not turn into customers, meaning that maybe one to 5% of artists will impulse buy a beat. And this right here is the reason that some producers may have hundreds of beats and zero sales. They kept on trying to make content to draw awareness but literally forgot about the next steps. And also, listen, if your beats are terrible to all the marketing in the world, it just won't matter. And see, the main issue about selling beats is that the knowledge just always stopped here. It was always just get more views and then you'll get lucky. When in reality, if you see the bigger picture here, you understand how to actually grow a profitable beat selling business. See, just like how I skip leg day, many producers have been skipping the middle of the funnel. And right here is where I need to rewire your brain. So remember, one to 5% of your website visitors might purchase. But Ryan, I got 10,000 YouTube views. Even if I get 1% to become customers, I should have made 100 sales. Nope, and here's why. Views are the completely wrong metric to measure. You need to look at your website traffic, and here's some actual data to show you. In the past 30 days, Matthew May has gotten almost 700,000 views on YouTube. And drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. So with getting almost 700,000 views, that has led to a little bit over 2,900 website visitors coming from YouTube. So by using that percentage, your 10,000 views might lead to about 40 visits. And out of those 40 visits, I bet you get no customers because it's such a small sample size. And then think about the odds of those artists coming back to your website. It's probably not gonna be that high. 
So what we need to do is we need to bribe them the first time they go there. What you need to understand is these artists are not ready to hand us their money, but we may be able to get their email. And this is where a lead magnet comes into play. Instead of asking for a purchase, we simply ask for their email. And let's say that from a lead magnet, you can get 10% of the rest of your traffic to sign up. We'll get 100 people to our beat store through various traffic sources. We get 3% to purchase, which equals three customers. So then out of the 97 left, let's say we can get 10% of them to give us their email, which means that we now have about nine new email subscribers. And now you may be wondering, how the f does any of this help me sell beats while I'm sleeping or doing something else? Well, remember, selling beats is never passive, but you can automate some of the most important processes and email is one of them. See, all you do is set up a sequence one time, and then whenever someone joins at whenever time, those emails are being sent out on autopilot to build relationships. So now think about this. You make your beat videos for YouTube. You make your content on Instagram and TikTok as well to promote your beat store. But remember, most of the traffic you get will not turn into customers. What you need to do is put a place to collect their name and email with an offer of something they actually want. So now you can further market to them and build up a relationship. And also, here's the thing. There's an underlying factor that many people choose to ignore, which is time. It takes time to build a YouTube channel. It takes time to build your email list. And it takes time to build these relationships. If you want to save time with building a beat selling business, please make sure to check out our course linked below. Or if you want to learn more about turning your beat store into a beat selling machine with the traffic you get, you can watch this video right here where I break down some websites and review them. Peace out. Have a good day. Hope you guys love the video.